In the previous video, we learned something extremely powerful. We learned that the derivative actually means the gradient. Because in earlier grades, we simply used to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 in order to calculate the gradient. However, when we are busy with a curve, then you can't use that formula. But luckily, thanks to Isaac Newton, we can use the first derivative. So, question A says determine the gradient, aka the first derivative, of the graph when x is equal to 1. So, to work out the gradient, you need to get the first derivative. So, I'm going to take the first derivative of the given equation, and so that's going to be 3x squared minus 2x minus 9. This part over here is the gradient, and they've told us, oh no, sorry, we need to work that out, but they've told us that x is 1. So, we can say gradient. You wouldn't do this in a test, but I'm just trying to let you really understand that that means gradient, and then we simply plug in the x value of 1. Because people are very quick to want to make this zero for some reason, but no one said that the gradient is zero. They just told us that the x value is one. So then we'll have three minus two, which is one, and one minus nine is negative eight. So when x is one, then the gradient is negative eight. Question B says determine the y value when x is two. So I've purposefully gone and done this because here they're not talking about the gradient, they're just talking about the y value. And remember, this is the y value. This part over here where I've got this little apostrophe, that is not the y value. That stands for gradient. So because they just want the y value this time, we will just plug x as 2 into the original equation and not the, the gradient. You see there's these slight little differences that we need to know, which is negative 18. So that means that the graph has a y value of minus 18 when x is 2. So that question has nothing to do with gradient. Question C, determine the gradient, aha, uh -huh, so that's first derivative, when x is 3. So we take the first derivative again, which we've already done, so it's 3x squared minus 2x minus 9. Now don't go make it equal to 0. No one said that it's 0. All they said is, please would you work out the gradient when x is 3. Well, we know that this means gradient, so we can just say gradient is equal to. Then we just replace x with 3. And that gives us a value of 12. So what that means is that the gradient on that graph would have a value of 12 when the x value is 3. D, this is quite a good one. What is the x value when the gradient is 5? So we know that gradient is the first derivative. I'm really trying to get you to understand that gradient, first derivative. Gradient, first derivative. Now they've told us that the, they haven't given us the x value this time, but they've told us that the gradient is 5. So we can turn this into 5. I hope that makes sense. Then what we do is we see that this is a quadratic, and so we take everything to the right, for example. And then you just solve, and you can typically use the quadratic formula. And by now I trust that you guys know how to use the quadratic formula. And so if we had to use the quadratic formula, you should get the answers of 2.52 or negative 1.85. So yes, in this question we had four different types of questions. They all, um, ch the, they all extremely important. You must make sure that you understand the difference between the questions. You mustn't try to remember this like a parrot. It must really make sense. Like when you read it, you should take a few seconds to think about it and see that it really does make sense.